Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to upgrade your Drupal from older version to newer version. So here I have Drupal 10 here and this is Drupal 7, you can see here. And then uh, here this Drupal instance is plain vanilla instance. I don't have any uh, content, I don't have any uh, new content type. So whatever Drupal provides with the standard profile, all those are available here only admin user is added okay so now we are going to upgrade this drupal instance this is also plain drupal, uh, drupal instance i just added a content in it okay i didn't enable any extra contract module so this video i will be covering how to upgrade your drupal 7 to drupal 10 without any contributor module or without any <coughs> extra modules okay so i don't have any custom code and all so i just have only the plain drupal so this you can use when you have a Drupal 7 website and that website is very basic website. You can use this way to upgrade your Drupal from lower to the higher version. Okay. So here I have a Drupal 10 and this is Drupal 7 and I'm going to extend. So here in Drupal from 9 onwards, you will have a module called Drupal migration UI module. So that will give you the interface to upgrade your Drupal from older version to newer version, okay? So this module uses uh, Drupal, migrate Drupal as a, uh, this is a main module and this will provide you the UI for it. Okay, so this has a dependency. So when you enable this module, automatically the dependent module will be enabled. So I'm just selecting only the UI and install. Confirm to enable all those. Now we installed the module successfully. Next, you have to go to the configuration of your Drupal UI module, migrate Drupal UI. So here you have a button called configuration. So here we are going to uh, run your Drupal from your uh, seven to eight. So we are going to import all the content, whatever we are having, even the core configuration all will be imported here. So you need to make sure uh, you are use, you are making your site in a maintenance so and database should be accessible. So all those should be there. And then next is my Drupal version is it's Drupal 7. And next one is source database. So this is a MySQL database, this one. So and for database host, it's a local host. And then <coughs> name. So name is um, it's a Drupal. 795. Next one is the root and then password. So port is same. I'm not going to do anything on that. So here you have to give the uh, doc root folder. So you can give, if you are using any domain name, you can give domain like this, uh, example.com or if you are using any uh, cPanel or something, you can give path like that. Or I'm using local, so I'm giving my local path. So before that, I will show you the content, what we have, files, what we have, menu, you can have all the uh, tags. You can see we have only tag name. And then uh, I have created image style also in, uh, in Drupal 7. So here you can see we don't have any content and we don't have any files. And image style, image style, all image style, which it will come with the code. And next is uh, vocabulary. So I will show you vocabulary. So we have only tag here. So I have added new vocabulary there. And menu also, I have added new menu. Okay. So uh, now let's perform our upgrade. So review upgrade, click on review update. So this is how to use when you use the private file system. And next is... I acknowledge I may lose data. So next here, uh, it is saying that a 28 module will be upgraded uh, successfully. Nine will not be. So these are the nine. Okay. So admin menu, you can replace that with admin toolbar. You just need to enable. So some module you can enable and uh, that will not have any impact on Drupal 7 and Drupal 8, 10 upgrade. Okay. And next is module will be upgraded. All these modules will be upgraded. And then perform upgrade. So the batch process will be running. 
So here you will get log of each whatever uh, the upgrade process are getting there. And I forget to tell you, before you run this upgrade, you have to make sure you are running, or you are moving all the files from your uh, older version to Drupal 10. So Drupal 7, sites, default, files. So these are the folder I'm having here. You have to make sure you are copying all the folder and pasting inside your Drupal 10. Okay, then only the files will be created and then uh, in content, if you are using image upload or file upload, all will be created with the source file okay so here you need to make sure you pasted all those folders okay then only the upgrade will work for files okay this i forget to tell that so now you can see the upgrade is successful we don't have any error since we are not using any extra feature we are just using drupal uh, 7 plain instance and we just added some configuration and just content so let me compare drupal 7 and drupal 10 what are the thing we have upgraded from 7 to 10 okay so here, uh, when you go to content, here you can see we have 50 contents here. So let me go to content here. And here you can see um, the same content, all those are up, up, uh, imported. And next one is uh, the content. I have added file for only one content. So that's what this content. So here I have an image for this content. So let me edit the same here. But also you can see the image for this day. You are able to see the image. Okay. And then um, next one is files. Files. So here you can see we have a lot of files. So in our system also. In upgraded system, we have all those files. Okay. So the next is structure blocks. So this I want to tell you that. So structure block layout. So here I will tell you first I created a content called block content. So this I created and pasted here. So that block content is created here. You can see. So this is using block type of basic and the block content is created. Okay. And I assign that block in a content region. So when you go to content. Content. You will be able to see the block content. Uh, block which we have here. That is assigned here. Okay. And then next. I added a menu that is sidebar menu. So that I added in this region. So let's check where the block is added in this <clears throat> Drupal 10 instance. So uh, since we don't have a uh, sidebar second region here, that's why it added in the content region itself, the menu block. Okay. So next what I did, I, in a content type in article, I added a field. So that is category field, which will point to the new vocabulary. So you can see there is a vocabulary called category. So in structure taxonomy, you can see the vocabulary is created. Let me go and check the article content type manage fields. So category field is created here without any issue. And next content type and new content type is added. That is news and manage fields. We have these are the fields here. So structure content type, you can see the new news is added and manage fields. So all those contents are available here. The same fields. Okay. And the next menu, structure menu. So here you can see there is a new menu called sidebar menu. So here also I added the sidebar menu. Click on this link. You will be able to save a set of links here. So let me list here. 
So here also you can see all those lists are important. Okay. And next one is structure, taxonomy, category. And structure, taxonomy, category. So category vocabulary created and also terms inside the vocabulary, all those are created. Okay. So this is done. So views will not be migrated. You have to do it uh, manually or by using any quantity module. I will post future, uh, in future, I will post video code it. And next one is people. So we'll see people. So here you can see, uh, before that I will show you the roles. I added a role called content editor here. Okay. So people uh, roles. Here you can see content editor role is created. <laughs> Next click on people. So you will have set of uses for content editor role. Now go and check. Here also you have set of users for the content editor role, whatever we are having there. And then uh, configuration. Mm, yeah, I add a new text format. Let's see whether it is there or not. So configuration, content ordering, text format. Yeah, so this is what I added, new text format. So new text format that is also upgraded. And then um, in image style, I added new image style in Drupal 7. So in Drupal 10, go to image style. So media image style. So here you will be able to see the new image style is added. Okay, so new image style is added. And then next is um, people is done. So in people account settings, I added a field called gender here. So let's see whether the gender field is added or not. People account setting manage fields. So gender field is added without any issue. Mm. So in regional, I added a new format. So this is the format. I assign that for a uh, data date type long. So let's see what happened here. <laughs> date and time format. So I think this we need to create manually. It is not working. And next is um, System site information. So configuration system site information. So the site name in slogan, whatever I configured there, the same imported without any problem. And then that's it. So most of the configuration I used in Drupal 7 and all those are imported in Drupal 10 without any uh, issue. So this is how you have to use a uh, Drupal upgrade from older to higher version. When you want to upgrade your Drupal 7 to Drupal 10 or 6 to uh, any higher version. So if, if you are using very basic Drupal instance, you can use this module to upgrade your Drupal. And if you are facing difficulties like up, upgrading your media or entity or upgrading to views, uh, if you are facing anything, please post it in the comment. I will prepare those videos and I will post it as soon as as possible. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.